Here we go, girls. Get stuck in. You haven't even ordered these. No, but you look like you could use them. They're only needed for the bin, anyway. I'll look you. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. If I'm doing it, you're doing it. Not even a big fat cake can cheer me up. Well, I'm not surprised. You've just been lamped off your own mother again. Oh, can we just shut up about it, please? How's me poor pet? I left work half an hour ago. Let me see. What are you doing? Looking for evidence. She's not going to get away with it. If it didn't bruise last night, it's hardly going to come up now. I could make that look nasty with a bit of makeup. Val, how many times? I don't want that on an assault charge. It was just a slap. Anyway, she's Andy's problem now, and if he can't see her for what she is, then tough. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Well, 7.30 is fine. All right, see you in a bit, Robster. Bye. A bit late to be taking the kids out, isn't it? Oh, yeah, about that. It'll just be for a couple of hours, is that all right? <laughs> You've got some neck. A straight yes or no is fine. Well, let me get this straight. You dumped on us yesterday and now tonight. Thanks, Dad. Don't know what you're thanking me for. I haven't said yes. We've got plans. You and Moira? Yeah, right. Yes, me and Moira. We're going out. What are you up to, anyway? I don't ask you what you're up to. Fine. Find some other mug, then. You know what? You are doing this on purpose because you never go out anymore. Time things change, isn't it? Oh, your mum's not in. And? Well, out there for her? No. Oh, I thought you must have upset her. Probably have. Has she gone to that conference thing? Yeah. And Declan, he's not about, is he? No, not till tomorrow. Ah, I get it. So, come on, then. Who are you having over? No, sir. Oh, for me. I can get you in. Out. Round two. Val, don't! She can't even look at you. She's got some cheek, I'll give her that. What can I get you? How about a straight jacket? Val, please. Uh, two coffees, please. Can you just go over there and tell her you're sorry? But she shouldn't have said the thing. Yeah, I know that. But she didn't deserve a slap either, did she? Can you stop it with the evils? She's lucky that's all she's getting. If it was down to me, she'd have a bunch of fives in her face and half her teeth down her throat. Is that right? Oi, I said apologise, not kick off again. Just forget it. Fine by me. Look, what did I say? Apologise now. What for? Last night's slap or years of neglect? Oh, shut up. Mate, I can't do this. Amy, leave us alone. Some mother you are. Val, honestly, she's not worth it. She's never been worth it. Oh, that's right. Get all high and mighty on your uppity little horse. So I give you a tap, saves your right for nigger my bloke and spout loads of lies. What did I say to you? Bless you, Andy, you're a simple soul. But if you think you can tame her, you're even more thick than I thought. Aye, that's my brother. Are you going to let her call you thick? <sighs> Where are you going? To find Amy. Right, if you go after her, that is it. OK. Just so you know, we don't do tabs. Dad, have you got any money? What happened last night? Trying to get you on the phone. I will never, ever take advice off you again. Nor will I ever have another girlfriend. Oh, dear. You're drunk. Indeed. I don't intend to stay that way. She's out of control. Is this really about the babysitting? Honestly? You don't usually mind. Well, it's not about them. I know. It's about what happened with us. But how many times? It was just one of those things, but you can't keep blaming her. She shouldn't be out every night. She's got kids. OK, strict dad. Come down heavy, punish her all you like, but don't come running to me when she's really out of control. So we're going out tonight, or what? No, we'll go out when we want to, not when you want to get even with Debbie. Fine. But you are not looking after them kids. She has to know that we are not at her beck and call. Great, then we'll go out. But you better change your mood, otherwise you'll be drinking alone. She shouldn't have ate you. She knows that. 
Yeah, she sounded dead sorry. She is. She just doesn't know yet. I know I've handled things really badly. Which bit exactly? All of it. I'm an idiot. Can we not just forget about it? Forget it? Are you kidding? Like I said, she shouldn't have hit you, but it all just got out of hand. It's not just her whacking his handy that I can handle. You shouldn't have to. Like you care. I do. Just not like that. Yes, OK, man, I get it. Can you stop treating me like some hysterical kid with a crush? I'm not. Yes, you are. I was only looking out for your kids, man. What a mess. Thanks to who? Can I buy you a drink? And it'll all go away, will it? No, but it'll make me feel better. Maybe you too, if I make it a double. Rishi, listen, nobody can be as sorry as I am, all right? Why are you so sorry? I'm the one who messed up. You don't know, do you? What? The wedding's off. Me and Priya were, were over. But why? Listen, you were so happy together. Apparently not. She says she's off marriage, she's off me, she don't trust anyone anymore, so... <gasps> then it's all my fault. Uh, I'll say, man. Don't beat yourself up. Oi! Oh, God. Wedding deposit. You want to get 25% back as it's so close to the date. Give it him, it's his money. A relationship is over. And that's all it comes down to for you, percentages. No sympathy, no compassion. Do you want this or not? I'm so sorry. Even if no one else is. Thank you for that. You shouldn't have come over. Yeah, well, you should have bought me flowers. Do you really think one lousy bunch is going to make everything all right? What are you talking about? What's he done, eh? Sold you some dodgy cheese. <laughs> You're all right. Did you like the flowers? Yes, they were gorgeous, but you you really didn't have to. I thought I did after yesterday. I'll just stand. I thought I upset you. You didn't upset me. It was me. I was the one that ruined it and dashed off. But look, why don't we have dinner tonight and I will make up to you? Uh, I was, uh, I was going to wash my hair, but, um, I suppose I could be persuaded. Oh. Please, Priya, you've got to talk to me. Look, you can hate me all you like, but David is a good man. Look, I will make you sure that your happiness on my account. I think it's obvious she doesn't want to speak to you, Priya. Life is precious and short. If you love David, you've got to grab it with both hands. What, like what you do with Rachel, you mean? And the rest. Nikhil, please, stay out of this. Stay out of it. Look, I'm just preventing your sister throwing away the best thing that ever happened to her. Well, guess what? It's too late, because she already has thanks to you. Priya, please, get out! Priya! Right. Pay attention, I'm about to be spontaneous. Oh, no. As we've dropped off trouble with his dad, why don't we stay here and get absolutely off our... Faces. And that's your idea of a date night? Or? Or we go home, tuck into a box set and fall asleep before the end credits. Is that what we've become? Pretty much. Pint and a half, please, Bernice. Excuse me? Two pints, please, Bernice. Oh, I'm with you, Paddy. It's not very ladylike, is it? She may not be a lady. But she's all woman. 
somebody get me a large orange juice fast, and by somebody, I mean you. That depends. On? It depends whether you found somewhere else to live yet. Oh, 24 hours I've been back. Exactly. Oh, please try to conceal your true feelings for me. Thank you kindly. Are you okay? You look as rough as your mother. Have you met her mother? I'm, I'm just a bit tired, that's all. I have to go. Oi! Well, I, I've left my mobile at the surgery. Are you not on duty? Yes, well, my mum might ring. So, do you reckon you'll sort things out with your mum then? You're joking. I am sorry about what happened with us. <sighs> Cringe. I guess you must really like her to lie like that. So what about you then? Would you still be saying all this stuff about the kids if we hadn't, you know? Right, I'll admit it, I was a bit jealous. Of? Of watching her play happy families, because I know what she's like. She's not that bad. You don't know her, man. Right, let us ask you one thing, right, and then I will shut up. If you weren't with her... I am. Yes, I know, I'm just saying. Would you? Well, there's no point going there. But I will tell her that you didn't throw yourself at me. If that makes any difference. Um, who been smoking? No. Oh, right. Well, I just, you know, I thought that smoking was banned in this house. I might have had one. I didn't know you were bringing the kids around. Never smoke around them. Right. So, where is he? Don't fret. He'll be back. Hey, how are you, kiddo? Good, thanks. Um, so do you mind, then? Just having them for a bit until he gets back. Of course. I mean, what am I, if not some old pothole in a storm? Are you sure you're all right? Of course. Go on, then. I don't want to be late. So who is he, anyway? What? Well, I know you're not dressed like that for parents' evening. Oh, do you know what that is? Right, Jack's bottles in his bag and so is Sarah's pyjamas. Anything else, Andy's got a key to mine, OK? You? You good? Nah, it's no fun being good, is it, Sarah? Should be bad instead. Yeah. Mm. See ya. Bye. Party time, kids. Party time. We're going to be late. Hi. <coughs> oh, I knew it. Just that I sorted something. Where are the kids? Well, thanks for messing me about, but it turns out I don't need you. Well, where are they? With the dad. Is that all right with you? Fine, but we're not here to babysit. Whatever. I can't believe you're going out again. And I can't believe he thinks any of your business. Well, and the granddad. When you're bothered, yeah. What's wrong with you? Do your kids try looking after them? You know him? what? It's a real shame that no one ever told you that when I was growing up. No, oh, that's not fair. I didn't even know you existed. No, you still don't. Hey, he's just worried for you and the kids. My heart bleeds. Look, I just want to know where you're going and who you're meeting. You mind your business, or my mind. You're a disgrace. You taught me well. Robbie, go and start the car. You're going to let her speak to you like just that? Just do it, please. Don't wait up. Now do you think I'm overreacting? Thanks for seeing me at such short notice. Well, you were lucky. Just managed to squeeze you in at the end of the diabetes clinic. So how can I help you? Uh, well, um, long story short, I, uh, I've lost my painkillers. What, the reduced dose ones I prescribed last week? Yeah, silly woman. I mean, I don't know if I've dropped them or if I've left them on a call out. Could be up a cow's bum for all I know. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the problem is almost sorted. I just, I just need to get on top of the pain. You know, it's, it's difficult with my schedule. You know, it's crazy sometimes. I'm, I'm sure you know what that's like. Well, I'm not sure where the nearest late night pharmacy is. Oh, well, you know what? I'll, I'll probably leave that till tomorrow morning now. But you definitely think it's getting better? Absolutely. Stop! You're making dizzy! Oh, nice! 
he's having the time of his life, aren't you, Jackie boy? Hey, so what do you reckon, kid? Uh, me, you, him, and your dad all on holiday. Yay! Does so that make Annie Carey your best auntie slash stepmom ever? Yeah, too right it does. We'll have a blast. It's like a proper family. I mean, I know me and your dad aren't married yet, but... I know where you're going. In a few days. Maybe one day we will be married. Would you like that? Me and your daddy got spliced. Maybe you should tell him. And then you would have two mams. And wouldn't you be a lucky lady? Right, go and get yourself up to bed and I'll come and make up a bedtime story. Not the one about the devil dog again. Nah, new one. Remember to wash your face and brush your teeth, otherwise they'll drop out. Mm -hmm. Just in I won't love you then, will he, with no teeth? Oh, while well, you're at it, put him in his cut. But it's upstairs. I don't know. You're a big girl now. Come on, I'm sure you'll manage. Bye. Night. Pathetic specimen. So, this is where you're hanging out these days. Well, someone's got to live here, haven't they? No wonder Manchester lost its shine. Ah, it'll do. Hi, uh, Debbie Dingle. Kirk Stoker. Do you want a drink? Yeah, scotch on the rocks. Make that too. Or three, even. So, uh, Miss... Dingle or Mrs. Dingle? Um, just Debbie's fine. I'm sure there's nothing just about you. Just so you know, I don't respond to finger snapping. They've been as thick as thieves for over an hour. Have they now? Give us a gene tea, would you? A large one. Oh, stop staring, Val. It's rude. I'll get back to your morpin. Oh, thank you very much for your sympathy. I have every sympathy, David, but not when you get morose like this. Whatever you do, don't buy him another drink. Why did you slip off? You've got another three bookings. I told you this morning it's my night off. Ask Amy. On second thoughts. <laughs> you are coming with me. Hey? You're my waiter for the night. Oh, big. No, uh, but you need to keep busy. Otherwise, you'll start embarrassing yourself. Come on. You know, there's no point in us being here if you're not going to speak. And is supposed to be looking after the kids, so what's he doing over there? <sighs> Kerry must be minding them. In your face, Paddy, in your face. Complete fluke. You know your problem. You can't handle being beaten by a woman. Nothing to do with that. Does it all right, you? <laughs> Joke. Mm. It's Rona. Where are you? But Vanessa's on call. What about the date night? Right. Bye, bye. Being blown out. Aw, oh, loser. You loser. Oh, child. Oh, child. I know your mum's made mistakes, but so have I. Loads. But I do think she's changed. That's what I thought. The kids love her and... So do you. She's not as bad as you think. Right, fine. Game over. It's not my fault you won't listen. I am listening. And I said I'm sorry about what I said and I will put it right, but... All this stuff about the kids, you've got to drop it. Why would I do that? Because you're only saying it because... No, I'm not. I said, if I do that... Well, Sarah would have told me if Kerry would have done something like that. Honestly, Amy, the kids love her and she's great with them. Kerry? <coughs> Kerry? <coughs> Wake up, Jack's crying. I think he needs his bottle. Well, I'm sorry, but if you were my boyfriend, you would definitely be in hospital for that. <laughs> that's fighting so. So anyway, that's why I insist on seeing all my clients up front and why I don't trust women. Oh, I 
thought he said you were engaged. Yeah, Charlene. We're uh, getting married in 22 days. Have you um, got a magic watch? Does it tell you? <laughs> so, uh, what about you? What about me? Married? Not that stupid. <laughs> Kids? Two. Uh, boy and a girl. Yours? Are you kidding me? Uh, sorry, I thought maybe uh, you two were together. Him? Oh, give me a break. <laughs> so, shall we get down to business? I thought we already were. Freddie and Stuart are back with the barbed comments. Vicious continues tonight at nine. Then a swamped job centre throws up more problems than it solves and the job lot at half past. Next, David's fearful of his unborn baby and so he should be. It might not be his. Secrets and Lies in Coronation Street.